But we do start off tonight with a look at the race for governor and the town hall forum. So let's bring in our contributors, Nolan Finley of the Detroit News, Stephen Henderson of the Detroit Free Press. Gentlemen, it's good to see you. All right, so we've had a couple of days to decompress from the big old uh, town hall forum. And I'm going to ask you what the feedback you've received. I guess, Nolan, let me start with you. Well, I mean, I, I think people were a little surprised at, um, you know, how different a governor they saw standing up there. He was feistier, he was a little more aggressive, a little more combative, and he certainly was. He got combative with you. you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a, a little angrier, perhaps, than we've ever mm -hmm. seen Rick Snyder. And, and you know, I think it, it worked for him in, in this setting. If Steve Mitchell did a poll uh, after the debate, and, you know, the people who watched it gave it to the governor by about a 40 to 20, 27%, 23% margin. It was a pretty, a pretty good, uh, pretty good margin vote for the governor in that. All right, what's uh, been the feedback from from your vantage point, Stephen? Um, well, I mean, I think people were surprised by the, the demeanor that the governor had because they haven't seen him like that a, a whole lot. Um, but I think people were also, uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they didn't know that much about Mark Schauer uh, before other than what they'd seen in commercials and things and that they felt like they had a better sense of at least what he believes uh, out, out of the debate. Now I think you know that's a double-edged sword for him because I've also heard people say well I didn't hear enough specifics about what he wants to do or how he plans to do it um, but I think he's a much more identif- it made him a much more identifiable uh, persona, um, a political persona, uh, uh, the, the, the debate did, and uh, that's a plus for him in the sense that I think there weren't enough people who, who had an idea. And he rallied it. his base, I think. Uh, you know, if you think about the Democratic base, not real happy with Rick Snyder. There's a lot of Snyder haters in that, in that base. And, you know, if, if you think of this election as a referendum on Snyder, Showers got to get those anti-Snyder votes very excited because people, as Steve said, people don't know enough about him to get excited about Mark Shower, but you've got to get them excited about voting against Rick Snyder if, if you're him. And I think he did a good job of that. He attacked, 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 hit, hit, hit. And I think the people out there who are inclined not to like Rick Snyder, not to vote for, for Rick Snyder, were very excited and enthused about Shower's performance. Now, whether that's enough to carry him over the top is... Uh, is a question. You know, I think it's interesting because anytime after these forums, everyone's like, all right, well, who do you think won? And it's so funny because, you know, I have friends on both sides and all the Democrats, oh, well, Mark Shower won, ha you know, hands <laughs> down. And then all of my uh, Republican yeah. friends, oh, well, you know, Rick Snyder, he totally took this one. I, I, I kind of felt that it was, it was very, very close to almost a draw at, at, at one point, Stephen. Well, and I, I mean, uh, th they had different burdens to meet, too. I mean, I think. Uh, uh, Rick Snyder is an incumbent who's very familiar, who has a record that he's trying to to, to sort of shore up and defend. Uh, Mark Schauer is a relative unknown and, and needed this debate to sort of introduce himself. So I think uh, they both accomplished what they needed to do inside uh, inside that context and inside those those uh, those measures. Um, uh, I, you know, did Mark Schauer, the question is, did Mark Schauer do enough to stop the, 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 the current polling trend, which is uh, leaning toward the governor and sort of pulling away? Uh, that was one of his burdens, too, was to try to move that back uh, the way it had been going uh, for months uh, until, until recently. And I'm, I don't know if he did that or not. Well, if, you look mm -hmm. at the, um, if you look at the Mitchell poll again, uh, Independence in the audience went overwhelmingly mm -hmm. with the governor. And okay, that's so that's who this interesting. Was. That that's really the number I think that there is to look at. Yeah, and that's where this race is. Uh, I mean, Republicans are going to stay home. Democrats are going to stay home with their candidate, and it's independence is always going to decide. Well, this and the race. reason that that independence will get to decide this race is because Democrats. Uh, the reason Rick Snyder won four years ago was because so many Democrats stayed home. Uh, more, than, more than 200,000 of them. Uh, if those people show up, he loses. Uh, same thing here. If Mark Schauer can motivate those Democrats to come out and vote for, and of course vote for him, he wins the race. Uh, and that is part of the Democratic strategy here, is, the, is that uh, there's been a lot of focus on those 200,000 or, or so people who, uh, who did not show up to vote four years ago. Uh, I'm not sure that how they show up in, in polling. These are not, these were first time voters 
in 2008. Uh, they showed up again in 2012. Are they considered likely voters who we go to when we are when we are polling and asking about about races? Or are they completely outside of that? I, I think we won't know until November 4th how effective that that effort has been. Did the town hall forum give us the answer to any of the questions that I think people have when they've been watching a lot of the campaign ads that you cannot avoid during every single commercial break on on television in terms of talking topics? education. Well, I think the governor used his time in particular to refute a lot of the claims that have been made about his record, a lot of challenges to his record, particularly on the the um, edu on education spending. This billion dollar cut has been a centerpiece of Shower's campaign. I thought the governor did a very good job of just bringing the numbers, saying this is what we were spending in 2011, this is what we're spending in 2014, and it's clearly it's clearly more. It was interesting that Shower never backed off of that and even after after the debate all the fact checker, checkers sort of agreed as they have been that we're spending more on education today still seeing these ads that he cut education spending. So. Well and the, and the reason is that uh, if you ask teachers, if you ask principals, uh, people who work in school districts and in classrooms about what's happened to education over the last four years, they will tell you they are dealing with less. They are pulling more out of their pockets. They are going to parents to ask for more. And that's because of the way the governor has has chosen to fund education. Um, it's it, not it, entirely, Steve. I mean, a whole lot of federal money, stimulus money, came out of the education budget during that same period. That's also true. but but. At the same time, he cut half billion dollars. He it's cut a lot of money. He cut a billion dollars out of the foundation grant, put it into into MIPSERS, which uh, great policy. I mean, I think uh, uh, there's no question that the underfunded pensions are one of the biggest problems we have in in municipal government and in schools. Uh, but you know, the reason that the Democrats have hammered that so hard is because that's how people feel. People really, really. Uh, if, if you talk to people in local school districts, they will all tell you but that money that was they coming out anyway. That money was either going to come from the state, or it was going to come from the local district. The state that could money have made that up. was never right. going to reach the classroom. And you know, if you if you st take a look at legacy costs, uh, just as they ate up the city of Detroit, they're going to eat up. Um, the, yeah. the school district. I think the question for the governor was why not do both? Mm -hmm. Why not plow money into MIPSERS and maintain the foundation grant or make up for, uh, for, the, for the loss at the federal level? There's been plenty of money that he's, been, that he's had to use for other purposes. Education was not one of them, and that that is true. That he chose to well, spend that money in other ways. We're sitting here awash of money. We can't find money to fix the, our our deteriorating infrastructure. It's not like money is just simply pouring in. Businesses we are, are doing paying better. businesses are paying 1.8 billion dollars less a year in tax. And as a result, we've got a growing economic base, a growing tax base that'll pay off very quickly. Well,